Hi, everyone. Dr. Will here. And um, I just had a couple of people reach out and they kind of had the same question. How do you, you know, they practice uh, saying no to having a drink. And this has to do with the Beat the Booze program. You know, they don't want to drink anymore. They think they're drinking too much. Doesn't mean they're an alcoholic. Not necessarily. You may have developed a bad habit of drinking too much as a method of stress relief. And I'll go into more details on why this has happened across the board. And a recent study said it's went up over 21% um, with estimates as high as 30% of binge drinking among adults as people 30 and over. Usually binge drinking is a teenage or early, early 20s phenomenon, but now it's increased. And they're high functioning alcoholics. They, they're working, they're this and that. They may be experiencing some negative effects from their from their drinking. And I wouldn't say they're alcoholics, but the alcohol is causing some negative effects, the beer, the wine, whatever it happens to be. And so they make the decision they're going to quit, right? I'm going to stop. I'm going to control it. And so they'll go in and they'll practice saying no. So when someone says, hey, have a drink. Uh, no, thanks. I'll have water. Right? And in fact, this person just reached out. They were going to a wedding and they said, you know, I practiced. They just signed up for the Beat the Boost program. And they said, I, I, I was excited and I, I'm going to this wedding and I knew I could do it. So I was practicing saying no. I was practicing saying no. No, I'm just having water or coffee or whatever it was. I think it was Diet Coke, Diet Coke, Diet Coke. Fine. And he goes, next thing you know, I'm at the wedding. And after the dinner and then the dancing started and things and he, had a, he hadn't had a drink yet. No wine, no beer, he even drank a Diet Pepsi uh, when they were doing the toast. He goes, I was really proud of myself. And I go, great, right? But what happened? He goes, well, then I was walking around and his uncle, one of his uncles that he'd known for a long time says, come on, man, let's have a shot of beer to celebrate this wedding. And the guy goes, no, no, I'm drinking Diet Pepsi. And he, and he goes, next thing I know, I'm having a shot and a beer. And I, I don't know what happened. I said, well, here was the problem. When, when you practice, here's my technique and tip for free for everybody. You need to practice in real time. This comes from looking at like high performance military. And I actually got an exposure to this again at the FBI Academy uh, for the hostage negotiation course. You need to practice in as real an environment, in, even if you're going to do it mentally in your mind. So you know what this is, right? And so you were just sitting there thinking, I'll just say no, thank you. And everybody will say, oh, you're, that's good for you and things like that. And that may not be it. I said, so if you would have just sat down and thought, okay, you're going to this wedding. It's at a, it's at a hotel ballroom. You may not know the exact hotel, but they all kind of look the same. The ballrooms, things like the bar will be over here, this, that, and there'll be the DJ and the dancing and all this other stuff. You know that. And you kind of know who's going to be there. And you know who's going to be asking you, do you want to have a drink? Usually it's people that like to drink a lot. And so you need to practice in real time, in your mind, saying no thank you in real time to them. And maybe even here now, ah, oh, come on, you're not a quitter. Come on, you can just have one. It's a celebration, whatever it happens to be. Because again, remember, you stopping or getting control over something, they may not have the control that they want over. It, it may be challenging to them. So I said, if you had just practice that, right? You know, like if you got to go out for some social thing at work, and everybody's going to a bar and you kind of know the bar and you know we all want to be part of a group you need to not just while you're sitting in the comfort of your office or sitting at your desk thinking about yeah i'll just say no 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 um if you imagine being there and who's going to say it and what might be said that's going to get that neuro neuro neurological pathway kind of set in your mind you know and again it's just something to think about right because the more you practice in that kind of mental state of what it will really be like, the better it's going to be. I'll give you more techniques and tips as we move forward. If you have any questions, reach out, direct message me. If you liked it, please share this with as many people as you can, um, because all the people that sign up for the Beat the Boost program, uh, I'm encouraging them to share it with their family members, you know, their significant other and family members, because this is a major problem. And, and you know, I it breaks my heart when I see this happen, because it doesn't just hurt the person doing it, it hurts everyone around them. Like this person, when they got home from the wedding, their, their spouse was upset with them. They felt like crap the next day and they were supposed to go out and do something and they didn't feel like it. I mean, and all the other people were, were involved, right? And that breaks my heart. I still remember the guy that, the reason he finally came into the program when I was doing it online in a different format was uh, he was supposed to take his kids, his two sons fishing on a Saturday and, he, and they had everything set up. 
Well, he stopped and he wasn't really going to drink. He was only going to have one beer, one beer. That's all he was going to have. He stopped with his some people after work and he had way too much, right? Uh, and so, of course, you know, his spouse is upset because he's he actually drove home and he'd had too much to drink. Yes, but the next day he woke up, he felt terrible. He had a hangover, right? And his kids were there like, let's go. We're going to go fishing. We don't want to get late. You always say, you know, don't burn daylight, dad. And he's like, oh, I didn't feel like it. And he goes, you know, and he's trying to roll over and go to sleep. And his oldest son said to his little brother, ah, you know, you just really can't count on dad. You know, he, he prefers to have a few beers than to, to be with us. Come on, let's let's go, play, whatever the kid says. And he goes, he literally was laying in bed crying, sick and tired of being sick and tired, hung over, and he couldn't do the thing he promised to do with his son, his sons. And so that's the kind of thing that breaks my heart. So if you have any questions, direct message me, reach out, sign up for the email list at drwillhorton.com. If you like this, please leave a comment, share it, pass it around. And again, people that sign up for the Beat the Boost program, which I'm relaunching uh, in the next few in, in the next week. In fact, it's kind of in a beta test if you want to sign up. Um, let me know. And again, share it with as many people as you can. Have a great day. Leave a message. Click like, subscribe, and I shall talk to you soon.